All right, today I'm doing another video on the pork chops here. We're going to fry these today. We need some eggs, and we're going to use this stuffing. Obviously, you can only use it for a turkey, but that's what we're going to bread these uh, these pork chops with, and we're going to fry them. I'm going to throw in a few other vegetables and whatnot that I like to do in a tempura batter. And uh, I've got some leftover boudin, so I'm just going to throw that in as well. But uh, the main focus is these pork chops, and that's what we'll be filming about today. Yeah, a lot of this preparation time goes into the veggies. It's kind of tedious because of how much you got to do. Uh, individually tempura each one and then put them in the uh, frying pan. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to knock that out first, but at the same time here, I do get a little bit ready because I want uh, the pork chop to sit after I soak it here, do the breading, and uh, really just make sure it's sticking. It, it's got to get a room temperature for about you know 10 minutes before I start frying it. So, as I did this, I'm going to prepare this now so that can sit, and then I'll get back to frying the veggies, and then we'll get back to this. It's just kind of a back and forth process. The point is to, well, something's got to sit and rest and and uh, get the way you want it, uh, more or less, you've got to uh, make good use of your time by doing something else. So, uh, with the eggs here, that I mentioned, there's only three eggs, and uh, if you want, you can just a little salt and pepper on the on the eggs. And this is what's going to make the uh, stuffing stick. I like a little bit of uh, uh, cayenne red pepper here. I just had a little dash here because I like a little kick on my chop. And then I'll blend this up. I'll take the chop. We'll uh, soak each one in egg. And uh, I'll put the stuffing over here. I'm going to roll it to each side evenly and take it from there. Alright, let's see if I can one-handed one-handedly while I film, show you a chop. Uh, just so you can get a good look. These are about three eighths of an inch thick. I like them. I like them lean. I don't. I don't like the bone in. Um, it doesn't really matter. Whatever your preference is, but uh, really, it's, it's about how it how it's coming out. But all you do here, like I like I said before, and, and I showed you, is that I seasoned the eggs. All you do is just get it in there real nice. Get a good coat. And then this, uh, this breading here is, is stuffing. Like I said, it's pre-made stuffing from uh, the store here. Brand doesn't matter. Uh, it is seasoned. It's herb seasoned. So that's where you're going to get your flavor. Because it's all ready in there. Okay. I've also used croutons for this before. Just throw them in a blender, food processor, whatever, and uh, get them all mulched nice. And if you want, you can even go back for a, a double egg soak and then do this again. It depends on how thick of a layer you really want on there, but this, this really is enough. And uh, we just continue to do the others over and over again. Get a few of these going. And then you'll let them sit for about 10 minutes to make sure that the crumbs are really getting on there good. Not bad for one-handed. Okay, that's how you want them. I've got them all finished. They're going to sit there for about 10 minutes while I do the zucchini here. you got the eggplant chopped up as well. Now, to be honest, I've never done the eggplant. I just got an idea about it. I'm going to try it for the first time. We're just going to tempure it just like we do the zucchini and see how it turns out. So let me grab several pieces of each. We'll take it over here to the tempura I whipped up. It's pretty cold. I've even got some ice cubes in it. I'll let it refrigerate for a little while like you're supposed to. Uh, if you don't know how to make a good tempura, I'll have to specialize in a, in a video on how to get this real nice and easy for you at home. And it's just flour, eggs, a little bit of salt, teeny tiny bit of sugar, uh, cornstarch, and uh, soda water. Anyway, I just get a nice little layer on there like that. I won't just throw it in the hot oil I've already got. Preheated. I'm going for low splash. You always want to put it in and take your fingers almost all the way down to it before you drop it. Otherwise, it's going to splash and it's going to burn the hell out of you. That's exactly what you don't want. All right. Next step, pork chops. Now, have you know right now that I was right about the eggplant? I already stole one. I ate the whole thing. It is delicious. 
really good. I just pull them right out, and I do add just a little bit of salt. And I like to stay away from them as much as possible, but something like this, you've got to add it. It's like French fries without it. Give me a break. you got to do it. All right, like I said, the next step was the uh, pork chop. They've already been sitting for about 10 minutes now, so it's time to go ahead and uh, start dropping them on the, uh, in the pan. I've got about a quarter inch here of oil at about uh, medium. I don't want to get you sick going back and forth, but what I'm going to do is just show you here. I'm going to go ahead and fill this whole pan up. All right, as you can see, these are coming along quite nicely. I just dropped in some more here. Start to get some color on these as well. Get those going. These take about three minutes in the fryer, maybe. It just depends on what kind of crispness and color you want on there and the temperature, of course. I just keep it at medium so it's not bubbling and boiling all over the place. I don't want to get burned. And the pork chops here, they've been going for about five minutes now. Um, time to check the color, flip them. That looks pretty good. And they're looking pretty nice. Good color. That's the way I like it. Just a little brown, crisp, and uh, we'll get those other sides going. All right, these are done. Let me show you the color. See? Both sides. Yeah, these are good to go. It's time to load a plate. And there's a loaded plate. We've got the uh, pork chop. We've got the uh, zucchini and eggplant, and cured, which I like in ranch. And uh, again, pretty simple. Really easy. Very cheap.